Rosie O'Donnell controversy, thousands of folks have written in about it. We thought you might like to see part of my interview with the woman conducted in March of 2002. Roll it. Let me run down a couple of things. Okay, but let's, let me say after each one, I want to respond, because oh, here's one thing. Anything you're going to talk to me about guns, I want to say it's after Columbine. Children were killed, and I'm a mother, and I was devastated by that fact. That's number one. And I'm not excusing my behavior, and I stand by what I said, although some of my comments, in retrospect, seem a little outlandish. Like the day after Columbine when I said, anyone who has a gun should go to jail. I was afraid that children were being killed every day. So you would take that back? Yes, it was the day after Columbine, right. and I was watching these children be pulled out of windows with their bloody bodies, and... You reacted emotionally. Well, emotionally, and you know what else, Bill? I also have some issues with depression in my life and feeling as though sometimes the bad guys are in control. Okay, so that you weren't at your top of your game there. No, I wasn't. Okay. But I do think that the passion with which I spoke about why we shouldn't have these instruments that kill so many kids around so readily. But my point of them is that you, Barbara Streisand, and a lot of the celebrities who come off very judgmental, you, you have bodyguards. Right? Do I have a bodyguard? You have bodyguards. Yes, I do. Because you need them. Yes. You're controversial. Yes. Okay? They pack. And they, they have guns. Yeah. Yes. To protect you and your family. Yes. You have to give that same right to other people. But I never said, I said I want all guns licensed and registered, except for the day after Columbine when I said nobody should have a gun. Right. Because I was hysterical crying and tried to do a show and be funny. And I was emotional, and I that's what I said. Okay. But do I think that celebrities shoot their mouths off too much? Yes. And can I say one thing about what you did with after the September 11th thing? When I was called and asked to do that telethon, I said to the director and the people who were putting that telethon together, if you have a million dollar cover charge, I will show up. If you don't, shame on you. But you saw how much heat I took challenging the celebrities and challenging well, you Because you like to do it. You, how you, you taunt them. You like it for ratings. You call George Clooney an idiot, and then Sean Penn calls you a moron, and then everybody's you, talking about it. But it was it. more than that. I mean, we forced the Red Cross in the United Way to and get And that was money. great. But why didn't you put me on your show and get behind my cause? We don't usually have political debates on my show. But when are you I sure had it's that, or are you sure it's that you think I'm a right-wing guy? Well, I wouldn't be here. Here I am. That woman right there didn't want me to come. My publicist, Lois Smith, 74, cried on the phone last night. I know where you're coming from. I don't think you're a mean-spirited guy. Now, you've referred to me, your humble correspondent, as the spin factor on yeah. your show. Yes. Isn't that you have the no-spin zone? Isn't yeah, but no-spin. The no-spin zone. But surely you don't think there's no spin in your no-spin zone. Do you think I spin? Yeah, but I think everyone spins, or you would just be a, a empty, vacant shell reporting facts. I mean, you have your life that you bring with you to every moment but that happens. But I don't think sincere beliefs that are, I hold are in that spin? You, are spin. That's not spin. Well, spin is spin taking is the truth. Well, spin is not always, oh, you, okay, well, if you and determine... And twisting it around. That's spin. Well, James Well, I don't Parvel. think that you're deceitful. I just think that you present your side loudly and articulately and uh, with great showmanship. What's my side? I believe that you are conservative, right-winger, more than you are left-wing le liberal. If I had to pick, were you Republican or Democrat, I would pick Republican. But I'm against the death penalty. Well, not only are you against the death penalty, you support Geraldine Ferra Ferraro when you think Bobby Kennedy was one of the best leaders right. that this country's ever had. Right. So when I read that about you, I said, I will do Bill O'Reilly's show. This interview, very tough. Was this a, a, a I was terror? very nervous at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And I, as I said, if you want to lose weight, book yourself on the Bill O'Reilly show because for two days I've had diarrhea. <laughs> I've also had a fight with every single member of my quote-unquote staff or team or whatever you want to say between Cindy, Lois. Everyone had told me it was a bad idea. But you know what? I knew in my heart and soul that I had to come here because I knew what I had to say is more important than how stupid I might look if you asked me something about Afghanistan because I don't know anything about Afghanistan. I know that's a place where terrorists are, and we have to go in there, and our men and women should come home. That's all I know. I'm speaking as a mother. Now, wasn't that interesting? I enjoyed that interview. She came off well in that interview. I don't know what happened, but she is welcome. Rosie O'Donnell is welcome to come in here anytime she wants. I don't believe it will happen, but she will be treated with respect if she does. Next, we'll wrap things up with the most ridiculous item of the day. And some of you men.